Hello everyone. So today we're gonna look at a problem from inverse trigonometric function. Now the question is find the value of x for which this given inequality is satisfied. Now the given inequality is sine inverse of sine of 2x square plus 4 whole divided by 1 plus x square is less than pi minus 3. Now here the sine inverse represents the inverse trigonometric function of sine or you can say this as arc of sine. Now I'm going to solve this in the next slide. Please feel free to pause the video and try this question. Now our question is to find the value of x for which this given inequality is satisfied. Now I see this function sine inverse of sine of this input. I cannot open this directly. I cannot say sine inverse of sine of x is equal to x. Once I know the value of this input, I can open sine inverse of sine of this input. So I'm going to estimate the value of this input that is 2x square plus 4 divided by 1 plus x square. Once I estimate this value, I can open this function sine inverse of sine of input. So let's estimate the value that is 2x square plus 4 upon 1 plus x square. So I'm going to write this as 2x square plus 2 plus 2 whole divided by 1 plus x square. Now I can write this as 2 plus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Now I have to estimate the value of this expression that is the, our input that is 2x square plus 4 upon 1 plus x square for x belongs to r. So for x belongs to r I'm going to check the value of this expression. So 2 plus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Now I see that perfect square is given. Now perfect square is always vary from 0 to infinity, 0 close. Now here I'm going to write this as 2 plus 2 whole divided by as it is. Now I'm going to add 1 here that is 1 to infinity. Now 2 plus if I divide this by 1 to infinity I'll get this as 0 open to 2 close. Now if I'm going to add 2 here I'll get this as 2 to 4 given that 2 is open and 4 is close. Now I got to know that value of 2x square plus 4 upon 1 plus x square always vary from 2 open to 4 close for x belongs to r. Now once I know the value of this expression that is our input I can open sine inverse of sine of input. So I'm going to show you how to open this in the next slide. Now in this slide I'm going to show you how to draw the graph of the function sine inverse of sine of x. Now the first thing is why I'm drawing the graph of sine inverse of sine of x. Why? Because if I know the value x that is our input I can directly open this function that means I can write directly output for this function. So let's say y is equal to sine inverse of sine of x. There's one function. Now x is our input that is our domain. So to draw this function I need the complete knowledge of domain and range of inverse trigonometric function. So domain. Let's talk about domain of the function. So as of now I don't see any restriction because sine of x is varying from minus 1 to 1 and sine inverse allows input minus 1 to 1. Similarly for sine of x there is no restriction so our domain is all real number that is minus infinity to infinity all real numbers. Now range. Let's talk about the range. Now sine inverse. The range of sine inverse is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so that will be our range. Similarly if I talk about the period of the function that is t the period of the function of a composite function depends on the inside function only that is sine of x. Sine inverse is not taking any part in the period of the function so that means the period of the function is period of sine of x that will be equal to 2 pi. Now if I have these three information using the three information I can draw the graph although I need one more information if y is equal to sine inverse of sine of x I can write this as sine y is equal to sine of x. Now I'll write the general solution for y so that I can draw the graph. So if I write y is equal to the general solution when sine of y is equal to sine of x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to power of n into x. Now here n belongs to an integer. Now I can write for different different values of n the y will be different different. That means for n is equal to 0 let's say for a moment the value of y will be equal to as you can see x. Now when n is equal to 1, y will be equal to, as you can see, pi minus x. Now using all the information which I have written here, I am going to draw the graph of sine inverse of sine of x. So let's say this is our y axis and this is our x axis. Now let's say I am going to draw the for n is equal to 0, that is y is equal to x. Now I know y is equal to x is a straight line passing through origin. So I am going to draw a line which is passing through origin, slope 1. Now you wonder why I have stopped here and here. 
as these two positions I am not going up to infinity and minus infinity there is a reason why because our range of the function is the maximum I can take is pi by 2 and the minimum I can take is minus pi by 2 so I have to restrict myself here on the maximum value that is pi by 2 and the minimum value is minus pi by 2 so these two points I'll not go beyond that why because the range cannot exceed pi by 2 and cannot be lesser than minus pi by 2 next I'm going to draw this line that is pi minus x for the next interval when n is equal to 1 so let's draw y is equal to pi minus x is a straight line with the slope minus 1 now as you can see this point is for what value of x our output will be pi by 2 so our first function was linear function that is y is equal to x as you can see y is equal to x so when the, our function is linear then for pi by 2 I'll get the maximum value that is minus pi by 2 and for minus pi by 2 I'll get the minimum value that is minus pi by 2 now our next function is y is equal to pi minus x the next branch for x greater than pi by 2 as you can see this is a straight line that is pi minus of x and this point is pi and this point is 3 pi by 2 as you can see at 3 pi by 2 this will be equal to minus pi by 2 that is minimum value now one thing I observed here is that is very interesting using this graph from minus pi by 2 to pi, pi, 3 pi by 2 I can draw the whole graph up from minus infinity to plus infinity as you can see this point is minus pi by 2 and this point is 3 pi by 2 so if you observe from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 if you observe the graph the distance between these two points is 2 pi and our period of the function is also 2 pi that means I'm going to replicate the function as it is that means I'm going to copy paste the function from minus infinity to infinity so I'll do the same for on the left hand side it will go like this and the right hand side will go like this so our graph is zigzag graph as you can see uh, the values of the function depends on the particular branches and first branch is y is equal to x second branch is pi minus x now I'm going to show you how to open this sine inverse of sine of any input in the next slide so that I can solve the particular inequality now in the previous slides we have learned how to open this kind of function that is sine inverse of sine of any input for any value of x I can open this function and we have also learned how to draw the graph of this function that is sine inverse of sine of any input now our input is 2x square plus 4 whole divided by 1 plus x square now in the first slide I told you the estimated value of 2x square plus 4 upon 1 plus x square for x belongs to r will vary from 2 to 4 as you can see 2 will be open bracket and 4 will be a close way value okay now for that I'll be needing the graph of the function okay in the previous slide I've told you how to draw the graph of the function so I'll not brief you the basics again I'll directly go to the graph so this is my y-axis x-axis and the graph will be zigzag now uh, I'll mention the points here from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 the graph is linear that means x our argument will be x up to pi by 2 now right after pi by 2 the branch will change and the branch will be pi minus x as you can see and this will go on going up to 3 pi by 2 and the previous to this one is minus pi as you can see this point and this point is this point is pi now all that I need is this points and the fun graph value of the function that is maximum is pi by 2 and minimum is minus pi by 2 now I can open this function y is equal to sine inverse of sine of any input now our input is varying from 2 to 4 now let's estimate where 2 to 4 lies so that I can open this function directly now pi by 2 is approximately 1.57 similarly 3.5 3 pi by 2 will be 3 times of this so that means our function lies within this range now our input is varying from 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2 that means I have to select this branch that is pi minus input so if you have a function y is equal to sine inverse of sine of x if the input is varying from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 the output will be pi minus x similarly here the input is varying from 2 to 4 so output will be pi minus our input our input is 2x square plus 4 whole divided by 1 plus x square now it is less than pi minus 3 now on both sides I see pi so pi and pi will cancel out I'll multiply with a negative sign so inequality sign will reverse and I cross multiply 1 plus x square 
since 1 plus x square is a positive sign, sign of inequality will not change. So, I'll get this as 2x square plus 4 will be greater than 3 plus 3x square. Now, from this, I'll get this as x square is less than 1. That means, we'll get the value of x from minus 1 to 1 and both intervals will be open. Now, this will be our final answer and that will be all.